Welcome everybody to Ecophysiotherapy Presents Health, Wellness, and Lifestyle. My name is Madeline Golick, and I'm a pelvic floor physiotherapist and the owner of Ecophysiotherapy, and I am super excited to be chatting with Matilda today. So welcome to the show. Thank you for inviting me. I know. Um, I am really excited to talk with you about martial arts today, which is completely unrelated to your profession, oh, yeah. but um, as a fellow martial artist myself, I thought we could have a really cool conversation about it today. Oh yes, we can. Before I ask you those questions, how about um, just letting the audience know a little bit more about you? Oh, sure. So me and my husband came to Canada 1999. We have our two gorgeous uh, kids here. They're like 13 years old daughter and 16 years old boy. So my son some, says that we're really, really like house full of hormones. Oh, <laughs> so that's where my kickboxing kicks in because it, keep calm, keep calm, keep calm, focusing and that's it. Awesome. And I am a full-time real estate broker for the past 11 years. Awesome. Yeah, that's a long that's that's a pretty long time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. So when so when did kickboxing come into your life? Well, I would say my son was around 6 years old and uh, he wanted to try something different, so I said let's try kickboxing. I took him over there uh, for taekwondo actually. Uh, and the instructor, instructor were talking to him about that and he said we also do kickboxing in the morning for adults. And I mean, since then. Ah, okay, cool. Um, so, so, like, why? Why came? Why? Martial? Well, I always loved martial arts. There's no doubt about it. You know, Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee and everybody else. However, I need needed some force, uh, some source of uh, exercising. But yoga was not fit for me. You know, I talked too much. They would probably throw me out. <laughs> so. I said, let's do kickboxing, let's try it out. And I sincerely, sincerely love it. That's that's great. Yeah, I mean, I started, um, so when I started my martial arts journey, I started with kickboxing with the intent of getting into jiu-jitsu and then potentially doing some mixed martial arts. So I started off in kickboxing because there were no girls in <laughs> jiu-jitsu and I was like a little too intimidated to, to, you know, walk into a class full of like 25 guys. So I was like, okay, well, I'll get stronger, I'll get more confident, I'll do some kickboxing, and then I'll like transition over. And then once I transitioned over, I, I, I stopped. But man, it was such a great exercise. Not only that, but like the mental, mental training. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like, helps you so much to stay focused, even in a day everyday life. You know, some like before I would just flip over something in a second. Now I know how to calm myself down, how to stay focused when I'm on a big task to do, and especially with my work, you know, with the negotiation helps me really, really a lot. Helps me to calm my clients down, and there's so much health benefit in it too. Yeah. So as a woman, um, what what do you find are the benefits of being part of a martial art, whether it's kickboxing or or something other than that? But what do you what do you personally? Yes. Well, aside from the health benefit, of course, uh, there is that confidence thing. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, like when you go outside, when you talk to people, you're more aware of your surroundings. That's that. You have self-confidence build up, so you know the proper postures. You know how to actually read the people. You know mm. if there's any threat to you or not. And by you, like just showing that energy and positive and like that self-confidence, I think people stay away from you if they're not meant <laughs> to be next to you. <laughs> and and I think that's 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 true because in in doing the kickboxing and and just even in striking you have to you're looking at somebody's body posture you're looking for the signals like is this person gonna throw a punch at me or are they coming in to hug me right yes <laughs> so you kind of have to be able to distinguish so I think it also makes you hyper aware yes of your not only just yourself but your environment environment completely and especially when you're mom. When you have kids around yourself, you have to be totally aware of that. And you know what? I start teaching my kids how to be aware of these signals. So not to fight, like for that they're going to go to the studios, but just to be aware of their surroundings at all times. Very important thing. Yeah. Are there women training there? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, they are. Like I would say we have more women than men in the morning. Uh, it's just the way I think the people, actually women are more... Uh, aware of these situations lately and they're not afraid or ashamed to be part of the kickboxing or any martial arts like they were before Oh, no, I'm a lady. I'm not supposed to do that No, you should 
you should. Like I had so many headaches, uh, ulcer problems, back pain. Oh my God, I had migraines almost every week. But when I start like seriously doing my kickboxing, which I do for now over nine years, I barely have them. Like it's really, really great health. Uh, get the health benefits. Yes. Because you get your cardio, you get your strength and, oh, yes. and conditioning. Yes, you do. Um, but you get um, the patterning. Right, oh, so yeah. you get the mental workout as well, which is similar to what I find with jujitsu as well. It's like playing chess on the ground where you're physically yes. physically active, right? So you get all three benefits. And I'm not really a gym goer. The idea oh, no. of kind of lifting weights and doing something by myself is, for whatever reason, has never been appealing. Well, yes, that portion of you know stretching down and do those things, it's just my mind is all over the place, okay? That's not helping me because I keep thinking about the work, about the kids, about the home. When I do my patterns, when I do my stretch, like, you know, you have to kick, you know how to need to be posture. My brain is focused only on that. That's when I clear my brain. That's what actually is the biggest benefit, I think, at the moment. Mm. Did you have any fears or any resistance to starting the program? Like... Was there anything you had to overcome, whether it be a mindset or or something? Like, was there any barrier for you to, to get started? Not really, but you know me, I go in a flame, no worries. I first hit the ask questions. <laughs> but uh, seriously, uh, no, like you just go for it. And like, you know, don't be intimidated by other people, by bigger men or smaller men or men at all. Like, you don't need to do that. Like you just like use whatever you know, use the techniques, use your you know brain power, focus, feel the fear, and do it anyway. That's my favorite quote and my, one of my favorite books too. Oh, that's 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 a great quote. I I, I, I like I like that because really the only way to overcome a fear is to take action. Exactly. Right. Like you can overthink it to death. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. The fear is still going to be there. Yes. And it's and, supposed to be there. Well, it is. Yeah, it's it's a survival mechanism. It's, it's supposed right. to prepare you for what your fear is supposed to prepare you yes. to make a make a decision, make an action, right? Make an action. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like you know, with public speaking or whatever, like you, I have that fear. But the moment I start, once I'm on stage, I'm like, I'm dying. I'm like, oh my god, I don't know if I can do this, right? And then once I just start talking, within the next couple of minutes, I'm like in flow, and people are like you're so confident. I'm like, meanwhile, inside, I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I'm <laughs> twisting, and, twisting and turning. Um, yeah, and the reason I ask about the barrier, like any fears that you may have had is because sort of what we, what I've been seeing is, you know, women will come out to our studio and they will sort of sign up mm -hmm. um, or they'll not sign up. Um, when they sign up, they tend to leave uh, a little bit sooner because I don't know if it's just intimidating, especially in the jujitsu realm, because, you know, you're so physical and it's so much, you know, uh, contact and, you know, it is a larger male population. Um, any advice that you would want to give a female that may be thinking about a martial art, like, but is feeling intimidated by the environment? Well, you know what? You have to believe in yourself and just by them being men and being big doesn't mean that they're better than you. It's just a technique that you're gonna use. You can take down the biggest man in the world. I'm just telling you, if you need some source of exercise and gym is not doing for you and yoga is not doing as well, you need martial arts, any kind. Like whatever it is, you need that self-confidence because once you start doing it, that man will not be that much superior anymore to you, right? It's big, yeah, but I'm faster. <laughs> so. well, it, well, it's true and being my size, you know, most of the guys that I wrestle with are like, outweigh me at least by 60 or oh, more yeah. pounds. Sometimes, yeah, like I'm on the bottom and I'm like, oh my God, like, and I just go into defense mode. So, so one of the really great things for myself leading up to me getting a blue belt is, um, like I didn't have very good offense. And so it would just bother me. I'm like, I got no game. I'm like, I can't do anything. Um, but what I could do is defend yes. very well. Right. So I have the confidence if somebody were to potentially tackle me yeah. right on the street, like I know at least to defend. And I mean, now I've kind of gotten, you know, I've trained enough that now I have some offense and, and skills. Um, but it is about self-defense. And as women, we definitely need that confidence. Need that. You know, most of the martial arts are actually defensive, you know, techniques, not the attack. It's most of them, except for Krav Maga. 
Oh, okay. which is killing machine everything else is teaching you how to defend yourself maybe counter back and then just run like you don't need to stay there and like kill them right just absolutely get get free and just run away whatever it is i have a friend who's a bodybuilder he's huge he's awesome i really like that guy but i looked at him and i said and he's like three times taller than me and said you know i can take you down in two seconds he goes yeah i know so you know they know what are we capable of? It doesn't matter if you're a tiny little person, it's the technique that you use. It's not, it's the, 100%. It's not the power, it's not the build. If you invest the time to build the technique, yes. you know, when the time comes that you need to use it, you're not gonna have time to think about, okay, well, first I'm gonna, you know, position, and I'm gonna jab, jab, yeah. and you know, like, reflex. you're not, it, it's completely and utterly muscle memory. It right? is. Like, it I'll is. be rolling with somebody, and I'll end up like getting an arm bar and they'll be like, what did you do? And I'm like, ah. right? Because I just, my brain picked up it's a pattern. Nice. I executed it. And then I would, I like, even afterwards myself, I'm like, do not ask me how I did that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just two days ago, uh, my instructor tried to teach me a little bit more about boxing uh, stuff. So it's, you know, it's a, uh, you punch, punch, and then he would use that uh, little like pillow things to hit you. So you have to duck, right? Yes. Now I've been doing this for nine years. So I punched, punch, and he started doing this. I just blocked him. He goes, I don't want you to block me. I want you to duck. I said, this is a reflex because I've been doing this for years, right? right. So, okay, so we're trying to learn something different, right? In case we need it to, right? But you're right. It's a reflex that you use because it's repetition, repetition. We do the same movements every single time we meet. Absolutely. And I think this might be a good segue to bring this in. Like the skills that you're learning, you know, we're talking about reflexes. We're talking about not having to think through the motions. Have you noticed benefit in your business being part of a martial art? Oh yes, for sure. Again, it's that structure, it's that focusing, it's you know staying calm. Often, and especially as I said during the negotiation, I see the client, you know, just it's not going the way they want. They start panicking. They st start thinking irrational. That's when I bring them back into the road, into the track. This is what your original goal was. It let's look at a different perspective. So you're looking for different solutions instead mm -hmm. of just you know going through the wall. So I, I really, really find this helpful. So you're saying like, so, so really, I, I, because I find it for myself as well, like being part of a martial art takes a lot of time commitment, a lot of patience. <laughs> I have highs and I have some really, really low lows when I come into a training session. Some days I come in and I'm like, you know what? I don't know anything about jujitsu. I want to quit, but obviously I don't, but but that is really also applicable to running a business, running yes. a company, yes. um, you know, starting a project. You can take these skills of patience, yes, perseverance, oh for sure, dedication, yeah. right, and, yeah. and use them to your utmost benefit. Oh yes, for sure. You know all this, like you know, perseverance. You said it yourself. So we determined to have you find the best home we can. We're gonna work until we find it. We're not gonna quit. Quitters never win, winners never quit, right? I keep saying those quotes and my yeah. kids don't like me for that. But that really, really applies to your life, everyday life. We use martial arts in every single day, not by punching people, but punching them with words. Maybe the proper ones, proper use, thinking before you say something. I know I talk a lot, people know that, but most of the time I say the proper stuff. That's what you, oh, I never thought about it because it's now reflex for me. My business is my reflex. The wording that I use are reflexes become, right? So you try to do the best you can for your clients in their business and that again benefits me as well. Yeah. So and this just kind of popped into my head. So what would you so what would you say to a young let's say real estate agent because that's your domain. Like what would you say to them to give them pieces of advice on their business? On their business? Well, stay focused, learn from people who are successful, successful, not from one that just keep and talk around. Join any kind of martial clubs if that's something you can do, or yoga, or whatever makes you feel comfortable because you need a venting place, okay? Our businesses are very stressful. When you work with people, we try to help people, but then their worries get back to us, so we need to get rid of those stress. So that stress can be only released by some sort of exercise in uh, focusing on different things. Is there anything else that you do to sort of maintain your health and well-being? Like, well, yeah, <clears throat> eating comes to place too, right? 
<laughs> healthy stuff, try to stay away from bad stuff. Uh, I say don't, like, you know when they say you cannot have junk food or anything? No need to be that strict, just minimize it. I teach my kids to eat well, to sleep well, to have enough that, and just breathe, just breathe, that's it. And that is definitely something that is needed in martial arts training. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I think we really undervalue breathing because it's something that we just we can do without thinking about it. Yes. But most of us in high stress situations don't breathe very deeply. No. Um, we and, need that oxygen. And same thing in exercise. And that also leads to injuries too, right? Oh, yeah. um, no, I think it's very important for, you know, having a balanced intake of food, especially when you're physically active, right? Because you need that fuel yes. to keep you going, but you also need that fuel in your day-to-day -day business. Yes, you do. Because, you know, to, to run a successful, you know, company, like it's, you're, like you're moving, All you have to be moving fast. Years ago, I was like so focused on work that I wouldn't schedule time for me to eat or drink or do anything else. So by the end of the day, I would start shaking. And my husband knew that. He's like, okay, did you eat anything today? So that's not good because I was too tired. I couldn't think properly. I, I like my energy level was very low. Once I started, the, you know, martial arts, I tend to get, you know, better food, better, you know, regular things eating, and that just, you know, brings your energy up. You can be better for your clients, for yourself, and for your family for as well. And that's an interesting point that I'm just making a connection right now. Is you're saying when you joined a physical activity, yes. other aspects of your life started Improved. to improve because you're also around others mm -hmm. that are of a health mindset. Yes. Um, and I don't know, the saying goes, you are the average of the people that you hang out with. So if you want to be more healthy, if you want to be more active, that's the environment you need to try to get into. You definitely need a body. That's one thing that we can say to whoever wants to start doing any kind of physical activity. You need that body next to you. You need that accountability. So many times I hate it in the morning. I really don't <laughs> want to do this exercise. But I know my friends are coming and I have to be there for them. And they know they drove. So And then some other day they want to feel the same way. But they know I'm counting for them. Right? So that's, that's the thing. You need a body. And believe me, once you do like in three months into it, you won't want to quit. That's, yeah, that's just it just becomes part of routine because, yes. and, and, you know, and of course you have that friend there to help you if you, mm -hmm, fall, off the, if you feel <laughs> fall off the bandwagon. And, you know, like I have a partner as well. I mean, sometimes physical illness, children and stuff, you can't, you can't yes. always be there. But, you know, I'll text her and I'll be like, are you going? And I'll purposefully ask her because I want her to tell me she's going because I have a, my own story going on in my mind of all the reasons why I can't go. Exactly. And then once she says she's going, I'm like... Well, I can't back out now because <laughs> I initiated this conversation. Exactly. So it's really good for keeping yeah. me accountable. Accountability is like really, really what you need. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else that you think is um, that you'd want to share about the benefits of kickboxing or any other health or success tips? Um, I don't know what else is there to say except, you know, just believe in yourself. Ladies, whatever, men, believe in yourself, don't feel intimidated, intimidated, just do whatever you love to do, you know, and you can do it. There is no limitation. You set up your limitation, nobody else. Absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome. It. Well, I've had a really fun time just chatting about this and kind of weaving a little bit between <laughs> exercise, but also some business stuff, you know, as business women, you know, we're always looking for like little tips and uh, tips and tricks. So I've really enjoyed this conversation. Oh, well, me too. I was very nervous at the beginning. Like you said, you feel like that. But once you start talking, it goes away. Go away. Like, yeah, yeah. The butterflies, they settle down yeah. and you just find a flow and groove. Because yeah, then... we talk about the things we love. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Totally. Awesome. awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming to our show. And of course, everyone, um, if you want to get in t uh, contact with Matilda, ask her more questions, learn more about what she does, uh, her contact details will be available at the end of the show and in the description. So again, thanks so much. Thank you very much coming. for inviting me. And see you later, guys. Bye.